so again, uh, we would normally open with public comment, but it appears that there is no there are no members of the public here. So we'll right. um, make a note of that and move on. The only item on the agenda is a continuation from March 24th of a request for a commercial finding for a change from one non-conforming trades use to another by Rock Valley Heating and Air Conditioning Inc. at one main road, West Hampton, map ID 41-6. Um, and uh, uh, I believe we have uh, received a request to um, uh, withdraw from attorney Amanda Sedonis Kemp to withdraw the application of Rock Valley Heating and Air Conditioning without prejudice. So I, I guess we would just need a motion to grant the request to the applicant to withdraw the application without prejudice, right? Yes, that's correct. So um, do we have a motion? Moved. Okay, second. Second. Okay, and then a roll call vote, please. Um, Elizabeth Silver. Yes. Sarah Northup. Yes. David Bloomberg. Yes, yes, that's unanimous. Um, and then I think we had minutes from April 14th that we could uh, right. vote to approve. Vote to approve. Uh, Who was that, Elizabeth? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Second. I'll let, uh, I'll let Maureen, because I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Oh. You're just Maureen, accepting them, so it's okay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Second. All right, and Elizabeth Silver? Yes. Sarah Northup? Yes. And David Bloomberg? Yes, so that minutes are approved. And if there Eight. isn't any other business, I guess just a motion to adjourn, unless there's a I other have, business. I have one other thing. Um, just, I don't know if you all know what your summer schedule is like and what would be a preferences for meeting for July and August. Um, but I know it seems far away, but inevitably all of a sudden it becomes next week. <laughs> right. So um, I, I don't know, and you don't have to decide now, um, um, but we can certainly do it. I guess we don't have anything for the, we have one item for May 12th. So we could certainly come back and revisit it May 12th if you want to sort of get your schedule, see about your schedules and then come back on the 12th and talk about it. That would be, um, that's certainly fine. Okay, the, the um, option for July would be July 14th or 28th. Right. And, and for August, it would be August 11th or 25th. 25th. So I can tell you right now, I'm open for all the July dates. I am away both of the August dates. If that was really problematic, I could figure out a way to log in from where I am. Okay. Okay. But I'm camping. So it'll be a little crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll check. I have a a family wedding and lots of preparation in August. So, I'll, um, oh, but that's that's in between. So, I'm available. Yeah, um, I may I may have an issue with the 11th. Um, the 26th would be safer for me in August, and in July, the first one was what date? 14. Yeah, at this point, those two are okay but they it may not be so yeah it's good to if we can come back to this okay and, and for me just <laughs> july 28th uh -huh. i am going to be if all goes well visiting my daughter in london august i will come back to this next time but uh pretty sure i'm around both august dates um, so that might work out okay um, uh oh. Okay. So, um, so yeah, maybe we should just sort of try to solidify it for May. I'm thinking maybe the first, maybe the earlier meetings might be 
better, but we, we don't have to solidify anything right now. So I'll put also put that on the heads up for the May 12th agenda, just to come back to and confirm. And then I sent you the bylaws as well, right? The board rules. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. get a copy of that? Oh, okay. Can you give so, us background on that? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, so these have always been around, tick, you know, kicking around. Um, I think the last time they were updated was five, six years ago. And so it's really just sort of how each of the boards function, all the public bodies that our office um, oversees. And um, we just thought it would be good to, to refresh and it never, they never officially got accepted or adopted by every single board. So this time around, we just want to make it um, uh, confirmed that each board adopts the rules and then we'll have them posted. So if anybody is interested in sort of how these meetings run, then they can um, look at these um, uh, meeting rules and um, guidelines. And technically, as, it, as it's written, um, they're supposed to be introduced for one meeting, but then adopted at a subsequent one. So it's not all done in one meeting. Um, so that's why I sent them this week so that we could discuss them May 12th, uh, potentially. I think since we only have one item on the agenda, um, that there would be time to do that. And you'll remind us. Yeah, yep. So, so being, you know, the newbie, what, um, What's new in these versus what was prior? Not much. <laughs> I okay. mean, we cleaned up some, there were some, you know, just my, really, they were just minor edits. And um, we also were trying to consolidate so that we weren't repeating the same thing and, and creating sort of a generic overarching set of rules that all the boards um, use and then have more specific ones fine-tuned for each board. So we did a little bit of cleanup. It's really nothing um, substantive, <clears throat> excuse me, was changed. Um, we haven't really had any structural changes in the board format. So meaning the numbers of members or associates. So none of that has changed at all. I noticed um, that you have a section for the planning board and one for the zoning, uh, but not for uh, CONSCOM or architecture or historic. Is that just because they're more generic in section one? Um, well, that's a good point. I hope I sent you the right one. No, the idea is that we have them for each board if there's something more specific. I have to check with um, there should be at least specific things about associate members for each of those bodies. Um, and because um, appointments are the same, a lot of the, a lot of the general guidance is the same, but there are some unique characteristics for each of those. So I'll check that in between just to make sure that I got you the right one and we're not missing something. Yeah, what we have received covers like Sarah said planning and zoning and then that's the end of it okay yeah um, um I had a, there was one sentence structure that doesn't make sense can, is that something that I can send you or is that something we need to yeah, do as absolutely part of this? Okay. okay no you can just um send it to me and then I can refresh and send a new set oh so that'd be great and that's all I have <laughs> So we don't have anything for uh, May 26, May whatever that is, May 26. Yeah, let me just um, make sure nothing came in um, this afternoon. Um, uh, Jeez. Um, no, no. So at this point, we wouldn't be able to have something. You'd need enough notice. Right? 
I mean, I've been holding it open, but I would, I would right. uh, make another plan. Yeah, you, you should be fine. Yeah. The only thing that I would potentially do is if a small residential finding came in that, you know, it just takes one administrator to right. review. Okay. I might do that because that doesn't take as much um, review Notice. typically. But that window is going to close within a week anyway. So, um, but as of now, there's nothing for 5:30, and I won't add anything for a 5:30 meeting. Thank you. Uh, May 26. Okay. That's yeah. good. <laughs> it's a busy time. It is. <laughs> so when do we start building? Uh, the building out the Moosehead Lodge. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, well, <laughs> we have to get plan. We have to get designs. <laughs> Are we still recording? How about motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Right. Somebody. Okay, Elizabeth. Somers. I'm sorry. Yes, you. She yes. might need to move. I was supposed to second. Sorry. Uh, Sarah Northam. Yes. And David Bloomberg. Yes. Okay. okay, so we're adjourned.